Honey, I'm home. Right on time. Dinner is almost ready. Glorious, just like this country. So how was your day at the office? No qualms here in the freedom capital of the world. That sounds wonderful. Dear, I think there's something I need to address. Sure, what is it? Where are the napkins? It seems I forgot about them. Do I need to do the speech again? I'd rather you did it. I'll just go grab some at the store. No, I'll go grab the first napkins. Just make sure my food's warm when I get back. Excuse me, fine sir. Can you direct me to the napkins? What? Do you work here, sir? No, but I can find someone that can help you. Post haste, young man. I have dinner to eat. Jolene, can you help me out for a minute? What could you possibly want with me? I need your help with a guy that wants napkins. Can't this wait? I have a bunch of dads at home that won't shut up about marine life and how cool he is. Forget about them. Let's worry about me. It beats looking at the meat section all day. I'm back. I got a girl here by the name of Jolene. She'll help you find the napkins. How do you do, Miss Jolene? That's a pretty name for a young lass like you. Okuyasu, who is this guy? Don't know, don't care, bye! So you need napkins, right? That is my current predicament, yes. Then follow me! I say, what is a young lass like you doing here in this grocery store? I'm here to pick up groceries for my dads. You have more than one father? How is that possible? Different timelines mashed up into a single universe or something like that. That explains why everything looks so foreign to me. What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Funny. Funny Valentine, the 23rd President of the United States of America. You must be that guy Johnny keeps talking about. You know of him? Sadly, yes. He's part of the JoJo get-togethers we do. Could you tell me where his current whereabouts are? I think he lives with a guy by the name of Gyro Zeppeli down the road. Thank you for the information. No problem, Mr. Valentine. Please. Call me funny. Okay, well here's the napkin section. Well done, miss. For your diligence to the cause, I present you with this. What is it? It's a lucky horseshoe. Thanks for this, I guess. Anytime. Now I must be off. I have a meal to enjoy. Talk about a guy who's out of place even in this universe. I hope that food's still good or else I'm gonna have to slap a bitch. Hey, honey, I got the napkins. That's nice, dear. Look, I'm taking the first napkin and making America great again. Whatever you say, funny. You don't seem very enthusiastic today. I'm still adjusting to this new world. Aren't we all? I still need to enact my revenge against that crippled thorn in my side before I can make this country a masterpiece. Why don't you just relax for once and quit trying to murder everyone? Now that wouldn't be much fun now, would it? It's better than talking about napkins all day. I guess you might be right. This is my chance to start anew and become better than ever before. Behind every great president, there's a first lady. Just looking at you right now makes me want to break your boundaries and steal your land for my own. Is that a declaration of war? All's fair in love and war. Then let us commence both. I'll get it. What do you want? I came here to give you something. Ah, you're one of those fellows from the beach. I hope it's something worth my time. My daughter said she got this from you. You must be one of her fathers. Yes, I gave that to her for helping me find the napkins. Well, she told me that she wanted to return it because she's already lucky enough to be my daughter. Then I shall take it back and use it when it's most needed. Great. Have a good day. As to you, fine sir. That daughter of mine has to remember to stop accepting things from strangers. Who was that? The father of the daughter I gave my lucky horseshoe to at the store for helping me find the napkins. It seems you need it more than she does because I'm not in the mood anymore for war. But the fun hasn't even begun yet. It's always tomorrow, dear. This is why we always need napkins at the table. Well, there's always that backup plan I can do when she gets like this. Now who could that be? Jesus told me to kill you! I know, Johnny. At this point, the entire neighborhood knows. Well, this is awkward. It seems you have the ability to walk again. Well, who decided that? I would say Jesus, but that's not true. I've been looking for you for a while now, but now I just want to cripple you again. I'm not going to let that happen again. As I recall, you have a weakness to bullets. The same can be said about you, funny. Then it looks like we're at a Mexican standoff. That seems to be the case. Then prepare yourself for retribution. I always come prepared.
I hope you both go to hell. Damn, dinosaur needs to stay extinct. Let's just call a truce for now until we turn that British bastard into fossilized horse shit. For the first and probably last time, I agree with you. Two shorts are better than one. Why did Jesus tell me to kill him? Well, it's a good thing I bought the napkins.